Alright, what's good, YouTube? Joining me again today, we got Ethan, we got Alex, and Cadence as well. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to be talking about uh, probably a, a few different things, I would imagine. Um, one of them is going to obviously be the main topic, which is going to be about that school shooting that happened in California. We want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I don't know how long this was going to last, but um, I'm excited for it because Ethan, you know, Ethan's my main guy. He wanted to bring it up. So we're going to bring it up. It's going to get touchy. I don't care. It's going to get touchy. Um, but before we get on to a serious note, I want to send you guys my setup in my TikTok. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick. Um, so most of you guys know um, I have a... I don't want to say a, a decent. I want to say a decent setup, not like a great setup, but you know, decent enough. It, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys to show you. Uh, this is my TikTok. You can go ahead and give it a follow, whatever. I don't. I don't really care. But I just want to show you what my setup looks like. So. So there's my setup. I know a lot of people was wondering about that, so I just want to go ahead and you know show you the setup. Um, it's been changing over and over, so uh, just a little snippet of that. Now let me um, get into the podcast, talk about what we're going to be talking about, and uh, yeah, that'd be that. Um, let's do it. What up? Yo, what's up? You're tired of having a pack of a Look at her. Why? What's she doing? Hungry? She's pooping. She's pooping. Look at that face. Oh, I love that. <laughs> she said. Um, alrighty. Let's see. Is it? Did I keep everyone tagged? So many things happen at so many different times. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, that was my that was Sam on the phone, Ethan. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I guess her dog's not feeling very good. So. Um. Alex, where are you going? We just got this shit started. Is she going up and leave? Change the baby. I changed the baby. Well. Twitch, here we are. Uh, we're gonna be talking about. I don't know what to actually, how to actually word it. We're just gonna be talking about pretty much gun laws and California and that whole shooting that happened. So I did not do any research on that California thing because I told Ethan I said I hope you can bring some arsenal to it. So I, I don't know if you did you research any of it or did you just kind of? I did a little bit. I did a little bit. Uh. I'll just pull it up actually. I mean I'm not yeah, I'm sure. I can so. I can pull it up on my my end too over here. So I'm not like oh breaking my neck. Uh, let's see here. Was it a school shooting or just a, a shooting? No, it was, it was shooting. And Hold this up. is also the third mass shooting in eight days in California, might I add. Yeah, I've seen that. It says that right there. Eight, eight days, twenty-five dead, twenty-five people dead. So it says five shootings in California, Iowa, and Washington. That's what CNN posted. Isn't Washington? The Washington will have strict gun laws. I don't think. Oh no. Let me, you look that up. I'm going to look up some gun laws here. California gun laws, just to, so we can have some facts. Uh, let's see, there's some facts. We'll bring that one up. Okay, next. What did I say, Washington? I don't think Washington has that. Like oh, no. the state. Oh my God, I can't even spell. It's an open carry state. Yes, so it's an open carry by the looks of it. It 
So, um, just for just for YouTube and Twitch references here, um, sometimes we don't really put together a podcast. We're still waiting on my my mother to get Discord so we can do paranormal. But then, like, we have we sometimes have these like actual like emergency podcasts that we need to be doing. So, like, there will be sometimes we just come up with a topic. Like, today's a, a huge topic, in, in my opinion, and it, it needs to be talked about. Um, so, we're kind of rebranding. Yeah, we're definitely rebranding this podcast. Um, I did actually talk to Alex about this. We're not – it's probably not going to be called Hump Day or Midday. Uh, we're just probably we're just gonna call it the Murdoch podcast because um, I, I want to bring this up to Ethan as well. I'm gonna call it the Murdoch podcast. One is because I'm the main host, um, but two is because, like I just said, sometimes we got emergency podcasts, and I'm definitely gonna hit up Ethan when something major happens. You know, sometimes we we might have a late podcast, um, yeah. but like a, a, I think that it would be okay to do an emergency podcast. When like a, a major event happens, so we're just gonna rebrand the entire podcast to just Murdoch Podcast. It, it could be whenever. Yeah. It, it could be on Saturday or Sunday for all I care. Like if it's well, an I'll emergency, just, I think we need to like pop it up. I'll just tell you Fridays and Saturdays. I am at work till twelve thirty uh, a.m. So no way I'm doing them then. <laughs> well, Come yeah, up. but I, I mean like an emergency. Like I, I I'll get on here and talk if it's yeah. like. If it's an emergency, but if it's not that big of an emergency, like this one, we could hold off. This one's like an emergency podcast. It was an emergency topic, but it can be talked about, you know, it can any be talked other. about on, yeah, it can be talked about anytime. Thank you, Poka, for the sub. Um, but yeah, I feel like this one's a definitely, it's an emergency, but we can, like I said, we can hold off and talk about it whenever. Um, so that's why the paranormal is getting pushed back. Besides, mom not getting Discord. Um. But yeah, I just want to. I just want to let everyone know we are rebranding it to Murdoch Podcast, and you know, titles might change. We could call it Midday, or Midweek, Hump Day, whatever. Uh, what was it? Iowa too? Iowa. Looking up all the gun laws here. What the fuck is all this? Jesus Christ, Iowa. Bro, bro I said something pretty fucked up Hi, yesterday. Hey. Oh boy, so what was fucked up? I gotta, I gotta hear this. <laughs> so, Megan was looking up how many uh, shootings there were this year in the United States, and we're already at 36, I think. Well, pipsqueak. 30, 36 to 38, around there. And I, I, I turned to Megan and I said, well, at least America's first with something. Look, I, so Hi, let me let me post this to uh, let me what? post this to everything real quick so everyone knows we're, we're live. But, you know, that's a good point you bring up. Um, you and I'm, I'm glad you, you brought it up. Um, because America, like, listen, I don't know how people feel about America in general, but we're last, or not, I don't want to say we're last, but we're not first in a lot of things. I know everyone sits there and they say we're a great country, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, congratulations. Okay, I, I will sit here and say we're great, sure. I will say we're great. Um, but we're not the best. I'm sorry. I don't care who, what Americans in this watches it. We're not the best country. Uh, we're we're not first in schooling, which I think should be our main priority. I don't even know if we're topped. I don't even think the last time we checked was last year, and I'm pretty sure we're not even top ten in the schooling. Was it last year I checked, Alec? Oh my God, look at Kansas. Think so. Like we're not even top ten. Um, but I I don't know. So it says uh, we're number eight. Okay, what was that article? Is it show what? Uh, well, hold on, I'm looking at other stuff too. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be different for each one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the articles we read, they were all over the place. So I, I 
one of the articles I read, I kind of just started averaging it out. And I'm like, dude, there's, we're not even, like, close. Like, there was there was some list that we were down on, like, 20. And then there were some lists we was, we was top 10. I'm like, I'm just going to average oh. this motherfucker out. Like, this one, we're number 8. The next one I see is we're number 1. Yeah, we're definitely not number 1. Ow. We're, um, we're definitely not to know. We try to teach a fish how to climb a tree, bro. Like, that's not how that works. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I think Sweden has probably one of the best schooling in, in general. So it says Finland. Which yeah, yeah Finland, Finland's Sweden. the other one. Followed by Japan, which I wholeheartedly believe Japan. Yeah, Japan, for sure. Systems. Oh, okay, okay. Um, a fish. Yeah, so we have been a... I don't know how... I don't know how many American friends you actually talk to, Polka, but there's a, a video in America that was going around, and they always say, you know, America has one of the, the shittiest schooling systems. Like, yes, we could be, like, there's a lot of people in America, so I'm not saying every fucking buddy is dumb in America. Let me get that straight. But the way the system is built, there's this saying where they say you can't teach a fish how to climb a tree. And that's because everybody is different. Like, it doesn't matter who we are. Everyone's different. So it's like, it was comparing someone to kind of like a fish. So, more or less, like, like Ethan. Ethan learns different than I do. So let's say I'm the fish and he's, I don't know, fucking... What do you want to be, Ethan? You want to be a snail or something? <laughs> you know, so like... I don't know, something that maybe don't like water. Like, I can't teach him how to swim. He can't teach me how to climb a tree. So you got to come with an, an equal an equal ground where you can learn the same things with the, the same system. Because you got, what, I think, let's just use our school, for instance. Northern had, what, maybe maybe 200 kids in school? Yeah. In a class? It's a, like in a yeah, class. it's about 120 per class. 120 per class. So it's like... okay, and it's only can, going down. It's only yeah, going it, down. It is going down because, I mean... People are moving away from this. People are moving. Like, that's that's what they need to do. They need to get the fuck out of this shitty town. Anyway. Oh, sorry, man. Um, so, yeah. Like, you got 120 people, they say, in a class, right? So... You're trying to teach 120 kids math. Not all those kids are But not learn. every kid in that class is going to learn the same way as someone else. So that's why they, they came up with an expression. You can't teach a, a fish to climb a tree. Like, that's, that's where it came from. It's a little video. And the guy, the guy that does it is incredible. Because it's kind of like a rap song. Actually, it's like a rap video. Um, and, and I loved it, but yeah, we're, we're getting a little off topic on that one. Um, but it also, I don't want to say like shootings come down the school because like, I, I'm going to reference this later when we start actually talking about school shooting or yeah, school shooting, shootings in general, because I think with a good educational system, there would be less shootings. That's what I want to reference. <laughs> But I want to wait till Alex is like actually got her headset on and listen. I'm almost ready. Um, but yeah. yeah. Let's see, California. California leads the gun gun laws. It's it's the top. From what I'm reading, it's the top state that what, bro? In 1863, 1863, California <laughs> uh, banned a concealed concealed carry, but also includes daggers and swords. And canes. <laughs> and canes. You guys remember them having canes with swords in? Yeah. They, they banned those in 1863. A wild year for them to do that. But see, this is where it's contradicting to me. In 1863, 
they banned that. 1917, they did it where it's a background check and concealed carry permits. So they like unbanned. So they the like law. unbanned it, yeah, but with stipulations. And I understand, so, like, I'm going to have a lot of points I'm going to bring up in this this conversation. Because, so, I'm, I'm reading here a timeline. 1993, there was a shooting. 1993. I was born in 94, so this was a year before me and Alex was born. 1993, man kills nine at a downtown law office. So, it's not just a 2000 thing. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there that talks about gun laws and all these shootings. It's not just now. It, it's happened before. I mean, we're not going to talk about the Wild Wild West. Like, we have duels in the middle of the fucking oh. street. Like, come on, dude. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, no. Holy fuck, dude. Um... Uh... No new guns. Bro, Poka, you are so correct. Um I do wanna I do wanna touch on Canada a little bit though. You don't see as much in Canada, but there is like on the eastern side of Canada, because Canada is a pretty big place too. You do see a little bit more than over in the US. But US is they're just I will always say this. I read our not read. I me and Alex watched. I think it was you with me, Alex. We watched a, a video on. Um, someone went up to Canada and they did an interview, and it stuck with me ever since they did this interview. This man, he let these teenagers break into his house. Oh yeah, I was yeah. And stole and stole cigarettes. And they asked him, you know, like, why didn't you get mad? Or, like, why, why didn't you, you know, defend your home? And he said, you Americans get mad if someone doesn't put pickles on your sandwich. Yeah, that's true. He said, you need to learn to not get so aggravated over dumb things. That, more, he said, more, more he said my life, my life was at risk, yes. Over but is it, is it going to get solved by resorting violence with violence? He says, no, I just gave them my cigarettes and went on. They left and that was it. And, you know, I can I can relate to that a little bit. You know, I was like, hey, that's a great saying. But Americans go a step further. If you're going to give them cigarettes, let's say that, was a, that happened in an American home. If you're going to give an American, like if you're just going to give them cigarettes like that, they're going to want to see what else they can get. Yeah, they're going to keep pushing their limits. Like I'm sorry, like again, we're not a we're not the best country. I can say we're great, but we're not the best. And we're only great because of our our limited freedom that we have. And I, I wanna say limited freedom not loosely. Like it's limited freedom. I'm I, there is no way around it. We give we have we, yes, we have freedom, but it's very limited. Yeah, yeah. See, like Toronto. I don't know if you ever see um seen that uh, show Don't Fuck with Cats. Yeah, there was a lot of shit that I learned about Canada. I don't know if that was in Toronto. Was that in Toronto, Alex, where he like murdered? I think all it people? was. I think it was Toronto. And that was no guns. Like he didn't kill anybody with guns up there. He just he stabbed them and grounded them and uh, he did some fucked up shit to him. I can say that. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not bashing Canada one bit. I, I won't. Because actually, I want to bring up the UK into this conversation. Because with... You have the number one state with gun laws and you still have shootings? Like, I'm sorry, you're just taking guns out of the good people's hands. Yep. Like, I don't agree with g gun laws. And, I mean... I don't know. It, it's it's a hard subject because let me just give you mine and Alex's personal experience. Like, the, I'm going to put this all in perspective. So me and Alex went to New York 
New York City for what? What was it, three or four days? It was like three days. Okay, what all did we hear about up there, Alex, when we was up there? Uh, well, someone lit the fox tree on fire, literally like two hours after we just went and saw it. Uh... Hold on, hold on. I want you to tell them with what. Because they said what, what it was... What caused the fire. Well, you're the one that found out it was a Molotov. I've never... A uh, Molotov. That was, that was news to me, because I don't remember that. It was a bum. He had his fucking little... Whatever the fuck it was, his goddamn whiskey or whatever the fuck he was using, and he just fucking he got tired of looking at the tree. I guess I don't know. I don't know what causes people to do shit like that. He threw a fucking Molotov on the fucking tree and lit it on fire. Well, are you gonna continue with your? I don't. I don't remember there being anything else though. There was a stabbing while we were up there. <laughs> I mean, there was a, there was a, not a shootout, but there was fucking, um, someone with a gun. It's like a, like a half-assed attempt at a robbery. Like, there was a lot of shit that happened just in three days that we were up there. Like, I, I was ready to leave. But then we went to the UK. We was there for two weeks. What all do we hear about in the UK? Uh, uh, a stabbing, and that was it. In London, and in London, and that was it. The reason, the reason I bring this up is because now I'm going to compare New York City, the you know greatest city in the world, to the UK. Um, UK, the entire United Kingdom has gun laws. There is nobody that owns a gun, or you know, supposed to own a gun. They all, they, they're specialized militaries. The only people that are allowed to own them. And by specialized, I mean, they're fucking specialized up there, let me tell you. Yeah. A little fucking dude with the Goofy's hat, Goofy's hat and shit. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't want to fuck with those guys. I, I wouldn't <laughs> want to fuck with them either, honestly. Like, one of them might be, like, trigger happy, you know, like, it's fucking crazy Americans want to go into war. Get a little trigger happy. But no, two weeks, one stabbing. And it, it blows my mind. Like, here it's not going to happen. I'm sorry that it, if you start taking people's guns here, people's going to, they're going to riot. And it's going to be the wrong people that riot. Like, I've already, I've already been told about a militia that's been in, in the United States. So it's like, you get the wrong people that riot, you, you just can't do gun laws. I mean, you can't. California has the number one gun laws, strict gun laws, in America, and there's still mass shootings. <laughs> at least, at least two or three a year in California. Wasn't it just what two or three years ago that there was one in uh, that that concert? Was it that country concert, Alex? The hell? Oh, that's been that's been yeah about. Three years, I think. The lot, the one in Las Vegas. At a country concert, for fucking Christ's sakes. And then, let's see. We got, um... Oh, can we, uh... So, the first attack... I would say, I just remembered this. The first attack was with a Mac 10 You know, a, f a fully automatic... Uh, sub. Um, there's no way that is uh, legal. <laughs> there is some states that allow machine guns, though. And yeah. I'm, one of them, well, I, I know, is Texas and I know, Florida. I know damn well uh, California definitely isn't. And, and there, there it is again. Like, let me let me just say, like, okay, a, a fully automatic weapon is is banned. From California. Okay, now you got the good citizens who don't have a fully automatic, who would want a fully automatic, who would be careful with the fully automatic. Now you go to the mall, and this motherfucker's got a Mac 10. You just start shooting people up. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like... I'm always the type of person, if the military can own it, use it, then so can the public this, people. This, but... 
this one I'm reading from, it comes from CNN, and it says that there are two reasons that this, that the MAC-10, any variant is illegal, and that's because it has a threaded barrel, and then they also have 30 round mags. Okay, but with modifications anymore, you can put a, you can put a 30 round mag on anything. Yeah. It says I mean, anything if over it wanted 10 100... rounds is illegal under California law. Yeah, and that's the same way with Maryland. I do know Maryland is a 10-round magazine with a 7-round Yeah, 10-round, yep. Because I have a lot of friends that had a lot of ARs that you can only have a 10-round mag. Do they all have 10-round mags? Fuck I don't know. No. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not a, that's a... That's an NDA there. Non-disclosed agreement there. I cannot say if they have just a 10-round mag. <laughs> but... That's my point. Like, okay, you got this guy that clearly knows the gun's illegal now, just walking around the streets with uh, a fully automatic weapon, and I don't know. I just, like in Texas, I know there's a couple people in Texas, there's a couple instances in Texas where yeah. a shooter happened and the, you know, a good Samaritan just put him down. And I think that's great and everything. It's, I don't know, it, Gun gun laws is a very tricky thing. You can be strict, and it shit's still gonna happen. I I don't get it. I don't get the gun laws because again, you go to prison. Stabbing still happens in prison. Killing still happens. You can take away all the guns in the world, and it's not gonna solve a thing. I've said this to my hippie friends when I was straight up just a stoner. There will never be peace on earth. I mean, the earth was made with no peace on it. The lion eats the fucking zebra. There was never any peace on this earth whatsoever. So, is it, is it going to solve anything with no guns? No, it's not. People is going to stab. I mean, do we need to talk about Jack the Ripper? Huh? One of the most... Renowned serial killers and never used a gun. Like, I, I'm just, I know it's a different time and everything, but you, like, people act like that's not a thing still. Like, people act like that's, that can't happen. Like, people don't need guns to, to create violence. Yeah. Any output on that, Alex? I know you love Jack the Ripper. I'm not really. I think you're just here to he to be here today, aren't you? This is full screen on Alex. Oh, thanks. We're gonna full screen on Alex so you get to see the babies. That's my babies. Unfocus this person. Remove friend. I can remove you. Your camera's really fuzzy. I don't know why. And, you know, gun laws, it, it, again, it's going to be a tricky subject, but it's like, I got a young one right now, and it's like, Ethan, you got one coming on the way, and it's like, we want them to grow up in a, a, a semi-peaceful world, so... Yeah. Yeah. Like I, when we went to the UK, like, I, I was really debating on just leaving... America right. stay in the fucking UK, bro. Like, You're right? I mean, I'm coming back for my dogs. Don't get me wrong. I'm coming back for my motherfucking dogs. Uh, like, go to Ireland where every any sort of weapon or anything is banned as a weapon. No knives. But no that's the thing. I mean, you can say no knives, but a kitchen knife's still a knife. Yeah. You can make a pencil a knife. Like, that's what I'm like saying. John, you like, can't. Violence is is everywhere. It, it doesn't matter where we're at. There's always going to be violence. It's just, you can you can have the strictest gun laws in the world, and it's that one black market guy comes in there and sells all his fucking shit out of his trunk, and I, there it is. I think that's one of the key issues with uh, the gun debate is no one no one ever talks about the black market and i don't get that it's like you know most of these guns are most definitely received on the black market 
You know why? Because they know they're not supposed to be on there getting yeah. those guns. Yeah, you're not gonna go into a pawn shop and see Mac but, Ten sitting there in a, in a place that's you know is illegal I mean, to have a Mac Ten. You know? Yeah. Why do you think ninety percent, only ten percent of the web is ac accessible to us? The other ninety percent's on the dark web, and there's a reason why. But like e even then, like you got smugglers, you got uh, you can get a gun from Russia easily. Yeah. Like people people smuggle. You know, like let's let's just get down to business here. If you want to ban like guns from the US, you're going to also have to start restricting, you know, private jets, private yachts. Yeah. Like a lot of that stuff gets smuggled on private jets. Let's be real here. I mean, I'm not rich enough to have a fucking jet. I don't know about you guys. So we're not going to go out and fucking smuggle in a bunch of fucking AK forty sevens and whatnot, but yeah, like I I don't know if you guys are like knew about all that the drugs like the cocaine like that shit was from boats from Cuba. Yep. So I mean, we might as well just start restricting boats then too. If, uh, the government's dumb, like they're just fucking they're fucking dumb. They're, they're going to sit here and they want to discuss about all this, you know, illegal guns. Well, I think they need to be a little stricter on the whole private jet, private boats. You need to understand that that's where that shit comes from. Mexico. I'm not saying anything comes from Canada, but it could. Like, I, again, I'm not going to say anything bad about Canada, but let's talk about it here. Russia's pretty close to Alaska. Yeah. Cross over, cross yeah. over, smuggles it in. Like, I don't know. This whole gun law is a, it's a huge it's a huge thing, and it, it shouldn't just start. It shouldn't just. It should start with gun law, but it shouldn't end with just gun law. Like, people gotta think of the bigger picture. Like I just said, smuggling. Yeah. So. Alex, you looking mm. up anything fantastic? No. No. You hit, she, Alex don't like about. I swear we have more stabbings than shootings. And you're right. You you probably do have that in Canada, cause don't you got? I mean, don't Canada? Don't you guys got like pretty strict gun laws up there? And, and that's what I'm saying. Like just because there's no. Just because you're strict on the gun law don't, doesn't mean there's not going to be violence. Like I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Alex. If you wanted like to kill me, if you if you wanted to kill me, just shoot me. Don't stab me, cause now I'm gonna get pissed. Cause if, you, <laughs> if you stab me, you better stab me correctly, because if not, I'm probably freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Like we have a friend that talked about getting stabbed before. And now they became best friends afterwards. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm not going to mention any names, but I, I just thought to myself, bro, ain't no fucking way someone stabbed me and I'm become best friends with them later on in life. Like, that's not happening. Like, if you stab me, you better be going th for the fucking throat or something because I'm going to freak the fuck out. I, have, I do have that a whole adrenaline rush type shit. Ethan and Alex both seen it. <laughs> Like, let's be real. I like, I, I got that adrenaline, bro. Like, I got that adrenaline. And, and again, I think in Canada, I think it should, you know, if you want a gun, you should have a gun. And just in general, because look, I'm not, I'm not about to go to a knife fight against a moose. Okay, y'all motherfuckers got moose up there. Okay, like, moose stick? like, I'm sorry. Poke up, but if I see a moose in my front yard, you know what? He owns that front yard till he leaves, okay? That motherfucker is massive, bro. Fuck those right? moose. Like, I want to go to Maine. I want to live in Maine. And I know there's moose up there. So I'm going to tell you right now, if I walk outside, get ready to go to work, and a moose is behind my car, I'm turning right the fuck around. And I'm going inside the house, and I'm going to call my boss and say, I might be a little late. There's a moose behind my car, and I ain't chasing his ass out. <laughs> right you know so i i feel like in certain areas you should have a gun 
plain and simple. Texas, I think you need a gun because fuck those scorpions and fuck those goddamn fucking I see, spiders, I bro. Can, I will shoot a spider, bro. I'm telling you. I can see Chris fuck with that. a fucking with a fucking Mac Ten shooting a scorpion. <laughs> Them motherfuckers getting your goddamn shoes down there. Fuck that, yeah, bro. I am I am owning a flamethrower if I live in Texas, okay? Because if I see one scorpion in my house, I'm calling the what insurance a, company and saying wait, my wait, house wait. is on fire, bro. What What about uh What about brown recluse spiders? They like to hide. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was telling Alex. I don't understand why she doesn't want to move to Maine. I say there's less venomous fucking animals and, and, and bugs that live up north. All no, your venomous no, you know, shit leave the fucking down south. You know what, Chris? Move to, move to Australia. No, fuck yeah, that. No. Yeah, fuck hey, that. It's a fun <laughs> fact, though. Here's a fun fact. Sonora Desert in uh, Arizona is the second most venomous place on the planet. So, well, I, I fuck Arizona. There, okay. No, no, no. Just fuck Arizona in general. I don't know where the Sonora Desert is. That entire area to me is a desert, so fuck Arizona. What's, Actually, in, what's uh, in Arizona do I even need? Is it a big, Where's a big ball of yarn? Uh, is that in Kentucky or something? Because I don't even know. I, I don't give a fuck what's in Arizona. It could be the National Space Museum for all I give a fuck. And I'm still not going there because, no. Moose are harmless as long as you're not a mama. Yeah, nah. I, moose is harmless or, because I ain't, or, I ain't fucking with it. Or, or, they're in, uh, or if they're in rut. That's yeah, the other time you need to watch out for them. I, wa I watch videos on people, like, hunting for moose, and they shoot a moose, and the motherfucker just charges them. I'm like, dude, you just shot that thing Well, I mean, to be, fair, to be fair, I think I'd probably charge someone, too, if they shot me. I'd probably run. What do you mean? I don't have a gun. I'm running. If someone shot me and I don't have a gun, I'm running the other way. What do you mean? Hey, my, what friend the just, fuck? <laughs> my friend just snapped me a scorpion yesterday. He was in the... Kit, he was taking it. He lives in Texas. Look, there's a lot of ways to get rid of a scorpion. You can also, like, you can fuck with it. You, you can poke its back and it stabs itself and stuff. But, like, I'm just I'm just that person. Like, if I want to put my shoes on, I don't want to have to check my shoes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to, like, constantly dump my shoe out. I want to put my shoe on and then go out the door. I don't want to be like, oh, hold on, let me get my, my cowboy boots on. Uh, let me reach my hand down in there and make sure there ain't no scorpions. Like, no, nah, fuck that, man. I just want to put my boot on and leave. My my uncle lives in Texas. He lives actually in, uh, I'll just call it station. It's, I mean, it's right next to the, close to the bay, I should say, not the bay. Um, The Gulf. He lives closer to the Gulf. So it's like, he, he, he snaps some pictures of a fucking coral snake. He's like, hey, is this poisonous? And when you see red and yellow, you're a dead fellow. So I was like, yeah, I would call someone to get that out of your fucking pool, brother. Like, <laughs> like that's not that's not a snake you want swimming around in your pool. You know, if it's red and black, okay. You you can keep it in your pool. You can keep it as a fucking pet for all I care. But when it's, a, when it's red and yellow, no, you might want to call someone. <laughs> Off topic again, but was that was a good conversation? <laughs> Very, very off topic, but it's okay. But like I said, like, I think in certain areas, yeah, it's okay to have guns because, like, like in our area, for instance, Ethan, you know, we got black bears. It's a nuisance. Now, are we legally allowed to kill them? No. We're only legally allowed to kill them if they bust open our fucking door. Now they're a threat. Can we shoot them on our front lawn? No. Can we shoot them if they're attacking our fucking dogs? Probably not. They're going to find a reason why we can't shoot them. Yep. I mean, I, I'm going to. I'm going to be honest with you. And the DNR and police, if I ever shoot a bear on my front lawn attacking my dog, you can show them this video. I don't give a fuck. I'm shooting that fucking bear. You are not hurting my dog. Like, <laughs> plain and simple. So, did you find anything interesting, Alex? You said you were going to look, look up. Up where the... Uh, yeah, it's uh, Arizona and a little bit of California. And Mexico. Is where the Sonora Desert is? Is where the Sonoran Desert is, yeah. 
Okay, so all of Arizona, California, and New Mexico, places that I don't want to visit anyway. I wouldn't, so I wouldn't go to California anyway, so. There's only one reason I go for California. And That's that is, C. Dyer. That is my man, Dyer. Nathan, I don't know if you ever watch these on YouTube, but just letting you know, that's you would be the only reason I go to California. Plain and simple. And he's in a, he's like in Northern California, like he's he's an hour he's from even in city. San Francisco. I don't give a fuck. Like <laughs> I'm not going down to the southern end of California. That, that's where all them crazy motherfuckers are. Yeah. Where is Hollywood? Is that middle? No, that's that's. It's, it's kind of like uh, it's in between San Diego, which is like South South California, and San Francisco, which is Central. So yeah, now nah, I'm not going there, so it don't matter. I'm not even going to Vegas. Like people was like, "Oh, that'd be cool to go to Vegas." Like, yeah, yeah, it would be cool. I'd like to go to Vegas. Nah, I'm by a prostitute legally. Oh. I just go to Cuba for that. <laughs> just go to Cuba for that. Dude. I don't know. I don't know which one's healthier or safer, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's probably tied. It might, I would say it's tied. Uh, I would say it's tied. Whew. But yeah. So, what what's your? I want to know your point of view on the whole gun gun control, Ethan. Since we're on topic about that. I mean... To me, I, well, if if you're going to get a gun and you're not going to hurt anyone with it, unless unless there's like a specific reason, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Should you uh, do background checks? Definitely. If you're a criminal, like have a criminal background, you, maybe not. Obviously, well, if you're mentally insane, no. But. That is that is a good that is a good thing um, to bring up about a felony because I know I actually know one person who has a felony who's supposed to not have a gun. I do not like yeah. said person. So if I said said person on stream, I would not give a fuck. But I'm that type of guy that I don't snitch and tell. Um, but I, I like what Ethan brought up about the whole mental illness thing. And I, I love that you brought that up because it, it actually reminded me of what I think needs to be done. You get your license renewed for driving, don't you? I think there needs to be a mental evaluation, at least. I, and I don't want to go as much as every year, but maybe every two to three years. Because we all know Every one of us, I don't care who the fuck you are, every one of us knows that a lot can happen in one year to your mental state. Yeah, a lot can happen, yeah. So I feel like every two years, you need to get reevaluated to see if you're allowed to have guns. But there is there is nothing that's going to stop someone from getting a gun. I mean, that, that comes down to that. Like, It doesn't matter how illegal you make guns. People are going to find a way. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But then, okay... And another statistic that we should look at here, which I, again, I'm not, I'm not fact checking any of this. Okay, I'm not. I'm just gonna talk straight out from the heart here. Is we need, and this is this is a whole ass podcast in itself. We need to talk about um, death with dignity, dig, dignity, because it's like how many shootings out there is because it's a suicide murder or whatever you call that murder, murder well, suicide. It- Actually, speaking of that, I actually saw an article about that. It was either earlier today or it was yesterday. I want to as say as long as they don't today. look like a crackhead. Poke is this? Oh my god! <laughs> um, Poke with our hot takes over here. <laughs> so let's see, they don't look like a crackhead. Well, that eliminates about three fourths of the Cumberland population. I say yeah. definitely three fourths. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Alex. Sorry, I just happened to see that um, over there. No, you're fine. Um, they just arrested down in Florida. Haha. <laughs> they just arrested a, a 78 year old lady. She shot her terminally ill husband and was going to turn the gun on herself. Apparently, they had made a pa- a, su- a murder suicide pact because he was so sick that, 
And she here now she's gonna sit in jail. Tax dollars, baby! Woo! Tax dollars! That's another thing that needs to be rid of. Like, we wanna talk about this whole gun law shit. Like, we could we could like with my this is this is everything Bro, I'm getting really worked up here. Everything we talked about goes hand in hand together. With not having a death penalty? Okay. We well, could save some money on not housing them prisoners for a wellness check every two years to see if you can have a gun. The whole household. Like, I I'm talking household. I'm not talking about, like, me going to get a gun. No, no, no. If I'm in a household, the whole household should have, like, a, a fucking evaluation. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, okay, there's a house here. On, on this street, this street, this street. They all, if they all want a gun that's going to be in that house, that whole house needs evaluated to even have a gun in the house. That lady's going to die in jail. You're right, she's going to die in jail. Unless they, they determine something, if they don't sentence her to prison. But, I mean, I, that's a good point, though, that I brought up. I want to know how many is murder-suicide, because that, there's got to be go. a lot. There's got to be a lot, right? Like, I, I'm um, OG rap come. What's up, OG? I don't know. I think uh, I, I think I, I I was thinking about you mentioning the mental evaluation. But I don't I don't think that. I mean, I hate to say it. You, I mean, I agree with you, but I think the only issue is is we have what, what's that department? The, you know how on your applications it says that. Uh, no employer may submit you to a that certain test or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think I think that depart if it fall under into that department. I think that's the issue. Is like they would be like, oh, you can't do that. Yeah, because it's against. I know it's against a bunch of. But that's what I'm saying. I I don't I don't. I, I'm the type of person who don't really believe in gun laws. Like, yeah, it, I, I'm the type of person who's like, if a military is gonna own it, so should we. If the motherfucking military owns a tank, you know what I want in my yard? A motherfucking tank, bro. Like, am I going to go on rampage I, on it with it? Nah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not crazy. You know what? Head. And I know exactly why that is, too, Chris. It's because if our government turns against us... And this has happened before, but I guarantee you, and it's funny, it is so funny that we're going to be talking about this whole mass genocide bullshit because you cannot find it. I I swear to God, there is a a... A country, and I want to say there was a G in it somewhere, bro. It was a G that their government took their their all their guns, and they turned around and just shot them all. I'm like, bro, that is fucked up. But you can't find that shit anywhere on the website. You cannot, you cannot fucking Google that shit. It does not pop up because I was living in my apartment when me and Alex looked that up. Like we were, we got on. I don't know. We got talking about something with the gun laws, and we looked that up. And now, nowadays, you can't, you can't find that shit. It's like the government just went through everything and just like they hit everything. You know, like the mass genocide happened in Turkey. Yeah. You can't, you can't find that shit anywhere. So it, it baffles me that people don't believe in tyranny. Is it tyranny or tyranny? How do you... Is it tyranny. Tyranny? English is hard. English is very hard. Oh boy, what's, what season? Oh boy, Ethan. Uh, uh, Megan's over there watching YouTube right now. And oh boy. She, I heard her giggling. I was like, what the hell's so funny over there? And she comes up, she's like, there was a diet pill in the 80s and it was called A-Y-D-S. AIDS. <laughs> So then she says, I lost 80 pounds with AIDS. I lost 80 pounds with AIDS. <laughs> oh. oh, that's fucked up. That is fucked up, dude. That is fucked up. Do you wonder why it's not around anymore? You're gonna lose a lot with AIDS, I can tell you that. You know what I mean? God, God you know what I mean? Our immune system goes, and now our weight, weight's gonna go too. Fucking OG rapper just comes here and says, come. Come. 
Um, I didn't even know that guy still had fucking Twitch, brother. I fucking love that guy. Who is it? Uh, old COD friend. On Mad Russian side. Isn't Arkansas the one with a big ball of yarn? Uh, I, I want to say you yes. Mean, you mean Arkansas? I use the fucking bash. Why this one called Kansas? I used to bash fucking Mad Russian over something. I'm pretty sure he's like a rubber band ball or something. The biggest fucking. Arkansas it is in has... Kansas. It oh, is in Kansas. Kansas. It is 11 feet wide. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. I said you guys can't even get the big ball of yarn in Arkansas. Well, he he gets upset with me sometimes. That makes some cats very happy. I miss that guy. Me too. I said I said Kansas got the big ball of yarn. You can't even get it in our Kansas. That's what I used to tell. Him. <laughs> I said, you just got you just got nothing. You mean you got Popeyes and <laughs> what the? I can't remember what else you said. I got Popeyes and uh, fucking Love dirt or that something. For Popeyes. I don't know. Like I said, this, this was an emergency topic, but it's just one of them hard, like, it's a hard topic to talk talk about. I wanted to... Well, I got that podcast idea earlier. I was like, shit, that's a great idea, the space one. That'd be cool. Just talk about space. Space is cool. I gotta be high for that one, because we're not gonna talk about a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of shit to talk about for space. But like Alex, I want to know what your opinion is on, on the whole gun laws. She she's she's one of the people she don't like talking about touchy subjects. Look at look oh, at no. she, she tries to avoid it at all costs. Now I, I like putting her on the spot. So go ahead. What is it? Oh. Now I know you're the one that wants us to drink the Kool Aid, okay? But this is going on YouTube, okay? So I I just want to know. Oh. Speaking of that, did I even upload the last time? Kool Aid? I should have. What 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 we said last week in the yeah, podcast? I don't remember if I uploaded oh that or not. I think it did. I thought yeah. it did. Wednesdays with Mariah? Yeah, with Vin Diesel. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look, Alex still ain't answering the question. But I... <laughs> well, I don't know. I basically agree with. With you guys, there's really not much to. Okay, I'm glad that everyone here kind of agrees with me. Oh. You, you know, you you, eh! you you get a if the military owns it, we can have it. So I, I got one final question for you guys on that on that part of the question is, <clears throat> do you think they should run oh, rocket launchers too? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like, I always said, uh, if the military owns it, we should own it, but do you guys uh, a rocket launcher? Uh, that, well, I don't know. I it, I, I guess it can't do much more damage than a... It, yes. <laughs> hey. Fuck no, Pocahontas. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you. There is people in Texas that own a rocket launcher. But you don't hear about no fucking explosions down there. I'm just Man. saying, there is people uh, that that I own a will, rocket launcher. I will vouch and say I I don't know who this person is. I'm not gonna say who it is, but they have a rocket launcher because I've seen it. Why well, ain't going to <laughs> Texas? Hey, Poca, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's part of the safest state in America. Now, I don't know if they own it anymore, but I've definitely have seen it. So, but I'm not. I'm not gonna specify who it was. Oh, I can tell you a whole bunch of stories. I, I'm sure you can guess who it is, but all right, all right, I probably already know. <laughs> Poka, let me be honest with you. Texas is probably the safest state in America. I, I'm being real with you too. There's also also one of the now, states that can ban themselves from America. I, I. I would agree with you, Chris, but the only reason why I don't is because the border is right there. 
Well, that's what I'm saying, though, but there is says, there's less gun it, laws. It says Maine is the the safest state in America. Yeah, it's because they're all up there by themselves. They're like, hey. That's yeah, because no, no. That's what I'm saying, though. Let, let's do the ratio. Let, we got to do a ratio here. There's less people in Maine than there is in Texas. True. That is true. <laughs> like, I'm not talking about crime. Like, we're not going to the crime. Because if we're going to go crime, from what researchers that I've... We just... We actually just researched this, Alex. Um, the One of the number one states was Alaska. No, uh, I mean... Texas is gay as shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's where that's where mad Russians from. <laughs> that's why oh, I had. It's a baby. It's that's a why baby. he had to go to Arkansas because he <laughs> he made Texas gay. <laughs> Fuck, no hate towards mad Russian. I love him to death. I I miss his ass. He don't even want to play Call of Duty because I'm on PC now. Like he thinks there's hackers on there. No fucking loser. Bro, I love his PlayStation profile pic. It is so funny. Crispy. Crispy. But yeah, I, like I said, Texas is probably one of the safest states you can actually be in. But I'm just going off Horatio. And you know, I guess West Virginia would be my second, my second one. If you if hey, you want to get real, hey, with. people. If people really want to complain about uh, gun violence here, I mean, um, take them down to Mexico. Someone say my name. What's up, Matt? I've been talking about you this whole time, bro. Oh my god, my Central. man, my man from from Arkansas. He he was in Texas. Someone said Texas is gay as shit. That's probably why you moved down there. With a bunch of them furries. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, go down to uh, Central I'm America. Meanwhile, I'm Bush Light. Yeah. Bush drink. Chris, do you know who MS-13 is? MS-13? No, I don't. The, the gang. Uh, they make the Bloods and the Crips look like pussies. They're, uh... <laughs> Texas is tied with California's worst state. Mexican <laughs> gang. Oh, I think he's talking about your, uh, who you know. Yeah. What? They started in California. And now they practically own Central America. It's uh, it's pretty. Another it's reason pretty I don't go to. Real. Another reason I don't go to fucking California or Arizona or New Mexico. There's more more reason not to. Like. The, this this gang is so notorious. They literally had a uh, ah, a but they follow like gun a... laws, don't they? I bet you, I bet you these guys follow gun laws. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they, they ain't walking around in California. They're like, hey, you know what? California don't allow Mac Ten. Just leave 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 them in Arizona. You know what I mean? <laughs> like or Nevada. My bad. <laughs> well, a lot of them got deported back to. Mexico and Central America. That's why they're there a lot. And they practically own the country because there's so many of them. But I should I should see what Mads uh, Mads uh, input is on the whole gun laws. Yeah, we're, talk, we're talking about the shooting that happened in um, California. Like, there's been eight of them now in the last. How many? How, what did you say? Like eight days. That's a lot of days, dude. Oh, no, it's only three. It's three in the last eight days. Hell. No, I mean, I, I'm not trying to make it sound better, but... <laughs> yeah, because there, there was some in Iowa and stuff. Yeah, there was, and there was, one, there was one two... Either yesterday, feel. two days ago, it was in North Carolina. There was one there. Well, here's another... I don't want to bring politics up. You know, I'm not a big... I just... I hate the government. I don't give a fuck if anyone hears that. I hate the government. Uh, my dad brought up... They're still arguing over who who raided the Capitol. And I'm thinking to myself, they're, they're still going to court over that? Like, you have bigger issues to deal with than, than who the fuck...
came into the Capitol. And then we got talking. The more I talked, I said, you know, first off, why the fuck do they give a fuck about who raided the Capitol? Is how the fuck are you going to let unarmed people into the Capitol? If a country sees that, then obviously they're thinking we're weak as shit. You let fucking people raid the Capitol for who had no guns. I, I don't know. I think, you know what I'm trying to say here. They, they need to focus on a little bit more on fucking what's going on with the world than to worry about a trial for putting people in jail for defending their freedom. Like, I just, government just pisses me off. America pisses me off. Look who we put in office. Yo. <laughs> Yo. The guy who doesn't know where the hell he is. Like I think there needs time. to be a bicycle test to become president. You know? Like, no, let's, I think, let's I think be there real. needs to be a fucking drive through test. I think the presidential candidates need to go to the fucking drive through of a fast food establishment. Well, I, I saw uh, I saw someone saying the other day, this is a comment I saw on Facebook, they said that um, they really need to, we really need to stop letting these 80 plus year olds. That's what Chris was office. saying. And I was like, yeah, we do. I tell you. We have a minimum age requirement. We need to have a maximum age requirement. Yeah. I, I tell you what, they need to go to the Redneck Olympics. If you can pass the Redneck Olympics, you might be able to be the president. Your first, your one first of them, contest is one drinking. One of them is getting whole drunk. Of, yeah, I'll say, your first contest is who can survive drinking this whole bottle of moonshine. <laughs> Made in my basement. <laughs> the one who can drink more and still walk in a straight line, you pass that test. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> one who can get drunk and still piss in the urinal, you pass that test. Redneck Olympics. Oh, man. I don't know. I, I just find it funny that we, we do put a fucking senile... Listen, I, we're about an hour in. People ain't gonna watch this on YouTube. I'm gonna be real. So, you're not streaming, right? Let me make sure you're not streaming. I'm not streaming. Okay. I'm gonna use this in context. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. I'll just say the hard R. And I'm not talking about color. I'm talking about mentally. Okay? Okay. Kanye West but Kanye West. Hell no, that motherfucker's got more oh, fucking not, problems than it's anybody. It's not Kanye anymore. It's ye. Yeah, it's ye. ye. We gotta ye talk ye about ye. But ye I'm just learn. saying if you look up the definition for mentally retarded, it is literally Joe Biden. Okay? Because it, 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 if you actually look up the definition, it's about slowing the brain activity where you can't learn. People want to get offended by that that word but it's literally in the dictionary like bro i know it's like you get mad at that fucking word and I, look I, I use it in context mentally retarded okay that is that is the context because i keep telling alex that we get on this subject about mentally ill people i'm thinking mentally ill could be many things it could be kanye west who's psycho it could be uh beyonce that's depressed like there's a lot of shit here when you talk about mentally ill, I don't think of mentally retarded when you say mentally ill. I'm, I'm straightforward. That's who I am. I don't think of that. I think of someone who's psycho or depressed. So if you look up mentally retarded, it's the slowing process of the brain that you cannot, you know, you can't learn. Well, dementia is closely related to that. <laughs> And here we got Joe Biden in office. Like, I'm just saying, it's just strange to me that a man cannot walk up the steps. Okay, I don't know if he couldn't get his leg up that high. No, no, just... I, I, I find it funny he, when he starts talking. He did, and uh, it, he, this, um, yeah, I'm. Uh... <laughs> yeah, America summed just... up in one word, and he uses a whole ass fucking essay to <laughs> try to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> like there should be a fifth grade reading level at least 
You know, because, like, when you get to sixth grade, you start doing speeches and stuff. You know what I mean? So, it don't like, remind me. Yeah, so at sixth grade, you know, you should be able to know how to do a speech. I think we yeah. need to put that in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that was a burp. I'm sorry. It's just one thing led to another. Uh, Space Guys, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so next week's podcast, um, we're not sure yet. Hey. If my mom gets her fucking ass on the ball and gets fucking her Discord downloaded, and we can invite her it'll to the be chat about here. Ghost. It'll, it'll be, be about, about paranormal. If not, space. If not, we're probably going to talk about some Uh-oh. space. Space is fucking awesome. And how the one true mad needs to game with me a little bit more. Like, yeah, what the hell, mad? He I see you hit, on, he I hit see my you phone on up. PlayStation. I see you he on PlayStation. He doesn't hit my phone up time, no man. more. He just, you know. Lost in time. Still one of my friends that I can go talk to anytime. I would love to talk about space, but that's probably next week, so. Space is cool, man. Because we're supposed to have this paranormal. What? He said, what? We're supposed to have this talk about paranormal stuff. But, you know. Look, I know you don't like PC players, man, but listen. I don't run into hackers because I suck at Call of Duty. I don't get in them good lobbies anymore. Because I don't play Call of Duty no more, really. Like I play a little bit, and that's about it. But then I get put in these newbie-ass lobbies where people don't even know what which way is left and right. So I don't get hackers. Okay, I'm just saying. Warzone's a different story, though. I, I, I don't play Warzone at all. I don't like Warzone. I think it's shit. I think the last good Call of Duty, unless he plays with Jake or me, yes, yes, exactly. Um, the last good Battle Royale that Call of Duty had, I'm going to just say, it, is Blackout. I don't care what people's going to say about that. And I'm glad they are changing a little bit of things for Warzone 2, but I still don't think it's going to be that great. So, we're a little off topic, but what do you think about that? Getting rid of the whole three plate shit. They're just gonna bring. It's just gonna be three plates again. Just, I mean, I think that's what it needs to be. I mean, the TTK is already too fast. Like, yeah. So at least make it a little, little better. So when this guy's got this fucking decked out fucking fifty attachment fucking Vaznev or some shit shooting me, and he's got three plates and I got two, like that's not fair. Like I don't know. I just think the whole Warzone shit. If they want to do Warzone correctly, they need to just make it their own game mode and be it. Like, stop stop coming out with it every Call of Duty that comes out. Just keep it a Warzone thing. Like, Fortnite and Apex. Keep it a fucking... It's own shit. Or, or at least do, like... Infinity War has, obviously, Warzone. And then they should have just kept Blackout as well. That would have yeah. been awesome. I love Blackout. There's a lot of people that bash Blackout. Bro, it was so fun. I mean, I never won that often, but I still had fun playing. I had more fun playing that. You see, I don't get that. I don't get the ungodly reflexes on mouse and keyboard. I don't. Um, I could play, like... It, honestly, what ruined Call of Duty was skill-based matchmaking because me and Ethan can go into a game right now and, and we could probably go off for two or three games and then we get a fucking stump lobby and it's like what like what like i'm just trying to have fun like this ain't rank play or even better you'll you'll be shooting someone you'll kill them right and then the next person you go to shoot you'll you'll do the same exact thing and it won't kill them it's like yeah what i don't i don't know if you know what this call of duty brought but it brought that it nerfs you mid-game like, if you get over 10 kills in a game, it actually it actually makes your gun weaker. When You start, you can shoot the same guy over and over, but the minute you reach, like, 10, 15 kills, it now takes, instead of four hit markers, it takes five or six to kill the guy. Because, I don't know, I, I actually noticed that a lot in this game, because I would shoot somebody, and I would turn away from them, because they're supposed to be dead. And then they shoot me in the back because I stopped shooting them. 
Ethan, you talked about it. You talked about shooting that guy. Oh, I didn't finish killing him. Yeah, yeah. because they nerfed your fucking gun mid-game. Man, that's why I am not playing COD at the moment. <clears throat> Bro, so Megan just brought up that yeah, uh, I spelled your name meter. wrong on that quote. <laughs> oh, no. That quote I wrote down a couple weeks ago, <laughs> or last week or whatever, don't say anything if you want the world to hear it. I put C H I S. <laughs> Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. it is called a fun meter. You have too much fun in the game, you gotta compensate. Yep. Gotta make you rage I, at I it. I don't know. I don't like the new Call of Duty. I, I've been playing Apex. What the fuck else game have I been playing? Oh, Farming Simulator. <laughs> I'm fuck about. It. I'm about to start playing this Marvel Midnight Suns, bro. It looks so good. I'm oh. What's Alex doing? She's not even in the conversation no more. Yeah, what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> yeah, we heard every word you just said, you lagging ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I've been having a lot more fun with fucking farming simulator. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And Apex. Apex has been fun, actually. Wow. Well, yeah, and I don't take that game serious yeah. either. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, we play ranked, but we don't, we don't do anything serious in it. <clears throat> like, I get, I get mad at Alex for not landing with me after she's, you know, I said, hey, there's a team here, but you know, that's a different story. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go back to playing Apex. Um, yep, stream. me too. Um, there's a hardcore mode on there right now, which is fun as shit. Um, so again, I want to thank Ethan and Alex for joining the podcast on why gun laws is fucking stupid and Texas is dumb and California is dumb and Iowa is dumb and Washington is dumb and Detroit is dumb. Well, the United States is dumb. Oh. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for yeah. joining in on the, the talk yeah. that... Gun laws is a thing, and gun laws shouldn't be a thing. And we'll see you next Wednesday. So it's either going to be why Apex is better than COD, or <laughs> or why Mad doesn't play with us anymore because Call of Duty had to ruin the fun meter. Dude, if there was no skill based matchmaking, uh, we'd all oh, be playing it, together still. This COD would ease. This COD would easily be one of the best if that was the case. But, yeah, we'll see you uh, next Wednesday for another podcast.